First way we're going to do it is we're going to convert both fractions into uh, improper fractions. And then the second example, I'm going to show you another method. So let's jump with the number method first. Let's see if we can take a look at this. The first thing I would do is I would say 6 times 7 is 42 plus 1 is 43 over 6. For this one, 10 times 4 is 40 plus 3 is 43, so that's 43 over 10. So now we have both uh, mixed numbers written as improper fractions. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find a common denominator. So we want this denominator to be the same whenever you add or subtract two fractions. So the key is, if you can, try to find the smallest number that 6 goes into evenly and 10 also goes into evenly. So in this case, we can see that 6 goes into 30 and 10 goes into 30. Now, if you can't find that number or you're just not so concerned about finding that number, what you can do is you can just multiply these two numbers together and just make the common denominator 6 times 10, 60, and that's fine too. But if you can find a smaller number, it's going to make it a little bit easier. So we decided our common denominator is going to be 30, okay, because that's the smallest number 6 and 10 both go into. Uh, to make this denominator 30, I'm going to have to multiply the bottom by 5. And then whatever you do to the denominator, you want to do to the numerator because 5 divided by 5 is really like 1. So 1 times this fraction is not going to change its value. It's just going to change the way that it looks. 5 times 43 is actually 215. And over here, we want to make this denominator 30. We're going to multiply the bottom by 3. But if we multiply the bottom by 3, we have to multiply the numerator by 3. Again, 3 divided by 3 is 1, so it's not going to change the value of this fraction. 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 43 is 129. Now, if we subtract, we just uh, keep the common denominator, which is going to be 30, but you take the numerator minus the numerator. So 215 minus 129 is uh, 86. Now, you can do that work off to the side if you want, or you could use a calculator. Um, so that's basically it. And now all we have to do is just turn this back into a mixed number. 30 goes into 86 two whole times with 26 left over. So that's 2 and 26 thirtieths, which you can then reduce to 13 fifteenths. So 2 and 13 fifteenths. Let's look at this from another perspective now. Instead of turning these into improper fractions, let's set this problem up slightly differently. Instead of looking at it horizontally, let's look at it in a vertical uh, fashion like this. So 7 and 1 6 minus 4 and 3 tenths. The first thing we have to do again is we have to get a common denominator. But notice 1 6 and 3 tenths, these are a little bit smaller than these large fractions we had over here. So it'll make it a little bit easier to, uh, to kind of combine these together. So here again, the common denominator is 30. So I'm going to multiply this bottom one by 3 and the top by 3. I'm going to multiply the bottom one here by 5. And whatever you do to the bottom, you want to do to the top. So this is really giving us 1 times 5 is 5. 6 times 5 is 30. 3 times 3 is 9. 10 times 3 is 30. But if we take 5 minus 9, that's going to give us a negative number, right? So the way we work with this is we say, well, let's go ahead and borrow from this 7. So we're going to change a 7 to a 6. We're going to borrow 1. But when we add 1, see, we really want this to be um, able to combine this with this fraction here. So 1 is really the same thing as 30 over 30, because anything divided by itself is 1. So now what we really have here is we have 35 thirtieths um, minus 9 thirtieths, which is 26 thirtieths. And then 6 minus 4 is just 2. So you can see we're back to where we were uh, right here, 2 and 26 thirtieths. All we have to do is reduce. That comes out to uh, 2 and 13 fifteenths, and you've got all. So great job. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I look forward to helping you in my other math videos where I go into algebra, geometry, algebra 2, pre-calculus, ACT math, SAT math, to help you raise your grade, pass your class, pursue your dreams, and hopefully make learning math a lot less stressful.